हेलो गाइस वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी हैव टू सी सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ बुलियन एक्सप्रेशंस यूजिंग के मैम इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव टू सी सीन दैट के मै फॉर टू वेरिएबल्स के मै फॉर थ्री वेरिएबल्स एंड के मै फॉर फोर वेरिएबल्स नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी हैव टू सी सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ बुलियन एक्सप्रेशंस यूजिंग के मै Before start the lecture do like share and subscribe the channel for more and more fresh content So see simplification of boolean expressions So this is this is one of the boolean expression for circuit therefore in this see here how many variables are here how many variables 2 3 or 4 or 5 variables how many variables here two variables are present here two variables which is those a and b therefore two variables are present a and b so for two variables we know how to draw the k map so draw here first draw the square then write here a here a bar here b here b bar therefore here a b term is present which term a into b therefore our a is here b is here therefore this is one then this is a b bar a b bar therefore this is one then put zero in the remaining places so this is our k map for two variables now see here one trick is here for simplifying this boolean expression if we simplify this boolean expression using boolean laws and rules boolean algebraic laws and rules we have to get one term y is equal to something in the last step of this so if this solving this equation by using this k map we get simply the this last term so how can we get this last term so see here one trick is there if here b is 1 here p bar is also 1 therefore this b this b and this b bar we can say cancel each other so remaining only is a therefore right here it is a firstly we know that in the we study that in the grouping of ones so here grouping of ones is simply a pair it is pair therefore we see that it is a pair therefore b and p bar both are one therefore b and b bar cancel each other therefore remaining is only a therefore we get the last term of this boolean expression is y is equals to a only therefore this is the simplified boolean expression of this long term boolean expression 
so this is very easy to simplify the boolean expression using k map other than those we have solving the boolean expression using boolean algebraic laws and rules then see this equation this is for three variables we see here that a b and c is present therefore three variables is present therefore draw the k map draw the k map So we know that a bar is here, a is here, here b bar, c bar, b bar c, b c and b c bar. Okay. Then see here a bar b c bar is the first term so put one for this a bar b c bar a bar is here and b c bar b c bar is here therefore put one is here then a bar b c a bar b c therefore this is one then a b c bar a b c bar this is one a b c bar then a b c this is one correct then put zero in the remaining places put zero in the remaining places so now grouping is done Firstly, do the grouping. Therefore, here, rather than we do pair of ones, how much maximum is present here? Do that grouping. Therefore, we see here four ones are here. Therefore, this is odd. Therefore, do the maximum grouping first. Therefore, this is chord is present because of four ones. In this chord, so four ones is there. Therefore, firstly see in this row. Okay. In this row, see a bar is here. Then here. B C and B C bar. Okay. And here A, here B C and B C bar. Therefore, in this B is common here, correct. And C and C bar is present. Therefore, we know if this is both the terms are one. Therefore, C and C bar. That is C and its complement C bar gets cancelled. Therefore, C bar cancelled, and B is present here only. Here B is present. Only B is present here. Take only B. C bar and C gets cancelled, and in this A bar is present. Therefore, in this row we get only A bar. and b okay then in this a is present and here also b bar here also a and b is present then a bar and a also gets cancelled because this is a chord 
therefore this a bar and a which is also one therefore this a bar and this a which is also cancelled therefore b is only present therefore our last term of this simplified boolean expression is y is equals to b correct y is equals to b only then see here simplification of of truth table using k map so this is the k map for one one of the example of truth table we see in the last lectures so how to simplify this k map how to write the boolean expression for this k map so see firstly grouping is done so maximum how much present is here that quad is present where quad is present see here quad is present and here is also quad present and here a pair present correct so firstly we see for this chord so see here this is one 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 this column is one and this four are ones okay therefore in this c d bar is present okay c d bar but in this this four sar one therefore in this this a bar gets cancelled with this a this a bar gets cancelled with this a this b bar gets cancelled with this b this b gets cancelled with this b b bar therefore only c d bar is present then for this pair is c for this pair okay for this pair how to write the equation this is one a bar b okay firstly i i raise this see this a bar b bar is one because in this row is this is one therefore a bar b bar is present for the pair so pair for pair a bar b bar is one and in this column this c bar gets cancelled with c and only d is present because here not d and its complement d bar here only d and d therefore d only presents therefore a bar b bar and d is present and for this chord c a is at is as it is because a a is present not a and its complement a bar here a is present only therefore a is for this chord a is present and this b this b gets cancelled with this b bar and this d bar gets cancelled with this d and c bar and c bar is present therefore here c bar is present therefore a and c bar therefore our equation in the last is see here our equation is y is equals to c d bar 
प्लस ए सी बार प्लस ए बार बी बार डी सो दिस इज अवर एक्सप्रेशन इन द लास्ट बाय सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस के मैप सो दिस इज डन